Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on unboxing the Casio FX CG50. The CG50 is a graphical calculator. I bought mine a little while ago from an international seller and it came in this white box here which I haven't really properly opened since I first purchased it. If you're buying one in the UK or more recently then you might have purchased one in the blister packs. It's much more common. So it's slightly unusual to have this um, packet, so I thought you'd be interested in having a look. And it's the first time really I've properly explored the uh, CG50, so let's have a look. So inside we've got the calculator wrapped up here in some plastic wrapping. Just take it out. And you can see it's still sealed, we've got, it's got the tape on there uh, sealing the lid to the actual calculator, so let's take that off. And let's slide the calculator out and here it is and yeah it looks great and you can obviously see that these there's a similarity in design there with the class pad the cp400 and the class Wiz, um, the fx 991 ex you can see a similarity in design and i'll do a video later putting all three together as a complete set and you can see the similarities there You've got two cables that come with the CG50. There's the USB connection and the three pin connector there. Various different instruction manuals. You can see here I bought mine from Germany. You can see that the primary instructions there are in German. And you get a set of alkaline batteries as well that I will be putting in later in this video. Of course, you can use the rechargeable batteries. Uh, the rechargeable batteries that I recommend are Panasonic Eneloop. And you can see the video previously that I did where I put those into the class pad. They're the ones I'd recommend using if you use your calculator extensively. I'm just going to use the complementary alkaline batteries to power up the CG50. So we can have a look at what happens when you first turn it on. So I'm just going to detach the battery case from the back here. There's a little clip, you just pull it down and it opens up. And we see we've got space here for four triple A batteries. So let's just insert those. And it automatically turns on. We see we've got the white screen here. And the first choice is to select your language. So I'm going to select English. We've got an option here to adjust the level of the backlight. I'm just going to keep it as it is. Then we've got the choice there to adjust the power properties. You can automatically switch the power off at a certain time period. So it's set at 10 minutes by default and the duration for the backlight before that switches off is 30 seconds. So imagine that's 30 seconds since you last uh, pressed the key on the uh, on the keypad. And then you've got the choice of batteries. Remember, similar to the class pad, this is for the remaining battery power. So you need to select it slightly differently. We've used alkaline batteries here, so I'm going to select those, but slightly different if you're using the rechargeable batteries. You just need to select the nickel metal hydride option below just gives you that that warning there about estimating the power levels and here we go yes we've got the uh, menu here nice color icons we can scroll down and have a look what's already pre-stored now this is straight out of the box and I've had a little while without updating it so I'm going to do a second video that shows you how you can update your operating system on the CG50 make sure you've got the latest software running that's it for the unboxing video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.